you all love K-pop. If you do, welcome to this segment. The K-pop musicians we love. The reason why K-pop is loved all around the world. During this time, I, Sam Carter, and Neve will be closely examining and exploring K-pop through the musician's point of view. Oh, oh my K-pop. K-pop. Right, listeners, it is all oh, my K-pop time. That means we've got the uh, wonderful Neve hello, joining us. Hello, hello. Brother, how are you doing today, mate? Ah, <laughs> oh, good, good. Yet, um, I was actually hoping that, you know, people were saying that it's going to rain again and mm. it's going to uh, kind of turn, turn into like a fall season. Yeah. But I guess uh, the fall hasn't come yet. No, it's still... It- it's so hard. hard. It's so, so hard. hard. But I'm I'm trying to you know understand how to cope up with this weather. Yeah. But it's crazy. We all know that when when we get up to the point where we are kind of used to that weather, mm. it's gonna quickly fall into that cold season. I hope so. Right. Quickly as well. Mm. So I left for for it's been a while, but I left my car at home today, mm-hmm. and I was like, it's September. I can I'll take the subway, and I walked from the subway station. So hot bad idea so, <laughs> I'm so hot today yes I I I, I can't I just can't these days I don't know why I'm struggling mm, mm. me too yeah, so. struggling oh dear oh we're, dear we're also struggling yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is rather warm indeed rather warm <laughs> uh, so many people joining us to say hello to you by the way Neve Argentina in the building saying hi Sam and Neve um, writing in which is lovely Rena says hello as well uh, to the cheerful Neve, missed you. Sorry for being away for a while. I've been slightly busy. Um, yeah, and loads of others uh, joining us as well. It should be a fun, fun show today. Fun show. Mm-hmm. What have you been up to apart from that? Lots of lots of um, songs being written. Lots of uh, things like that. lots of songs are uh, in process, and um, just like working and setting up uh, everything that I. <laughs> mm. I have to take care of in order for me to. Uh, you know, come up with newer stuff for Nivers and, and my fans and everyone else mm. uh, who listens to my music. So that's coming to an end. So yeah. I am wrapping up uh, nice. all the process that I had to go through. So I am confident that I will bring in some music for you guys uh, probably during October. That's cool. In October. That's a mm. good time as well. Mm. Good time indeed. Busy with that. What about you, Sam? Have you been working on many yeah, songs? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I can't remember what I did last week. <laughs> when 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 a musician says he can't remember uh, what he's been doing, <laughs> with, uh, it could either mean he's been uh, drinking the yeah. whole week <laughs> or working so hard, <laughs> uh, writing on so many songs that he doesn't know uh, uh, which one he was working on or he's been doing both <laughs> or he's been doing both I will let the listeners guess yes what you we'll think let I've you guys doing. guess um, I'll take my chances <laughs> of guessing and uh, <laughs> find oh, out uh, from me. Sam so yeah <laughs> oh dear me that's fun I love that that's a good that's a good answer that's a good answer <laughs> um, good stuff indeed lots of people looking forward to October now because of course you're just saying um, uh, putting out music so yes that's very very exciting mm. we've also got something that we need to start the show with yes okay. we do I've got <laughs> this that's coming from Anna okay oh, okay Anna writes in Hola, Neve and Sam. Hope you're doing well. Did you know that we Neve fans believe that Ailey is the first Neverse on record? Because Ailey is who we're talking about, yeah? Mm. Ailey was a judge on Superstar K where Neve auditioned and took part as as Brian... Is it Brian Park or Brian Bri- Park? Brian, Brian Park, Brian Park. Both. Yeah, both. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, and she had a very positive reaction. Here's a short video. <laughs> this is So this is Neve. Back then, Brian... Park or Park on Superstar K and A. Lee was the first knee verse. Oh my god! This is I, so cool. I I, see, I am seeing the thumbnail and I was yeah. wondering what that was and now now everything makes sense. It makes sense. We're gonna play that, dude. Can okay. you play it for us? Okay. Can you click on play? Okay, let's get this up. <laughs> So 
하지 않으면 오, 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 오. 다쳐도 몰라 그렇게 의미를 쓴음대 오빠 브라이언 어린 시범을 빌며 떠나 Dude, that's amazing! Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> she is the first Nevers. Uh, <laughs> Ailey is the first Nevers. Oh my, 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 my. That's, that's amazing. That, that, that makes me blush. Yes, so that was almost a um, kind of uncut scene, like an edited version that mm. actually it wasn't... It was really like... Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's cut and, down quite a bit. And, right? and it's not that it's not cut down that much. So yeah. what I'm saying is that she literally said after me finishing the song, oh yeah, she was like, "Were you on purposely um, looking at me while you were singing?" That's what she asked me. <laughs> She's the first divas. <laughs> so I was like, y- "Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes," because I was a fan of Ailey. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. I was, of course, when man. I was, you know, singing, and and I was very, 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 very nervous. What? I remember that was almost nine years ago. It's a long time ago. Mm. That's a long time ago. It, it still feels like yesterday, though. Yeah, man, mate, that that long hair. It looks. <sighs> it looks. What you you must have used a very good shampoo <laughs> and conditioner. It looks. It looks amazing. Uh, I don't know what kind of shampoo I was using at the time, but then I I remember that I was the heaviest. Myself, I was like I was weighing uh, really? the most. Oh, that's interesting. When I was on on, on TV show, yeah, yeah, I was I was loving pizza so much. So oh, dude, I, I, I ate everything that was in my in my eyesight. Looked incredible. So, guys, that's me, uh, the fattest version that you guys can see. <laughs> so, if you guys want to see me, uh, kind of like, you know, I put on some weight. Look at you that. You guys know where you can find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. So it Def- was, it was, it was great. It was great. Definitely. Oh, that's fun, man. Irina says, "Are hey, you killing it?" Um, long hair back then. Whoa, sweet as man says. Look at her face. God, Neve Argentina writes in. Ailey loves Neve. Um, uh, Irina says, "Can you still sing like that, Neve? Your voice has changed a tiny bit, hasn't it?" Yeah, I, I was. That was before me finding my my like kind of actual singing style. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. was more like a rough, it's quite rough, rock, yeah. yeah. If you uh, per se. So right now, what you guys are hearing uh, from me is that me kind of like figured out which. Uh, mm. kind of like vocal way that I wanted to go like me figured out everything but then that day when I was singing that uh, song I I you know didn't know what to what to do so I but I, I still remember that run like <laughs> that part oh. yeah. <laughs> and the end of, the end of it you yeah. mean right yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh. Yeah, I have to practice. How do you yeah. do that without shaking your head? <laughs> the only way I can do it is. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing at the time. I love it, but, man. You know, I was enjoying, but at the same time, I was so nervous, and yeah, I was very happy that Ailey really um, took light uh, in in me singing. Mm-hmm. So that was a great, uh, great opportunity and and a great uh, experience. Have yeah. you ever met her after that? No, I really wish, I, I really, really, really do wish uh, that I work with her. That'd be amazing. At one point, yeah. maybe I'll get some chance. Yeah, that'd so, be cool. Good. Yes, Miss Ailey, if you, if you are seeing. Yeah. Yeah, this, please. Absolutely. Yeah, DM me or something. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Nee Philippines says, I literally had goosebumps. Um, and uh, her reaction, that's all of us, Nee Philippines says. Ailey looks very starstruck on Neve as well. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, everyone's um, uh, really into it. Sam's favourite topic is shampoo lately, Wendy says. <laughs> what are you talking about shampoo? Do I talk about shampoo a lot? Maybe I do. It's a topic of conversation in my studio. Mm. For some reason, the guys, we get together, we talk about shampoo. <laughs> do they have long hair? One of the guys, you know, the oldest guy in my studio, mm-hmm, he's mm-hmm. grown his hair really long. Oh. So nowadays we, we talk a lot about shampoo. Yes. And conditioners. Conditioner. It's, it's, it's important. Very, it's very masculine conversation. Yeah. yeah. Guys do mm-hmm. talk about shampoo a lot. Yeah. We actually do. We, we support. Mm-hmm. It's important. Um, anyway, Siska says, be careful with your neck, Sam C. Yeah. Oh, wait. What happened? R&B run. Oh. oh. <laughs> 
I was worried. I was worried that you you had like some kind of like uh, no, no. spinal kind of issues. No, now I do. Oh, because <laughs> now I just did that. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm oh. fine. <laughs> um, we've got a show to do today, yes, do. listeners. Shall we talk all about the segment, please? Yes, sir. We will choose the K-pop musician of the hour, look back on their history from their debut till now, and Sam and I will be analyzing the reason why we think they're loved through our point of view. Yeah, and uh, also, listeners, we need the listeners, uh, we need your participation during this time. We do, and during the middle of the segment, Sam and I will be sidetracks that we like by the artist. Mm-hmm. And uh, for today's K-pop musician, send in a song by them you want to hear. Tell us why uh, you became their fan as well. And lastly, you can always send in your request for the K-pop musician that you want us to closely examine. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will actively reflect your opinion. Of course we will. Of course we will. Uh, me and Neve were also doing a video message. Remember that for one very, very lucky listener. So bear that in mind. Yes. Um, cool. Right. Oh, we know already who it is. But today's <laughs> K-pop musician of the day. Uh, today's K-pop musician is my favorite. A Lee uh, with the popularity of pop song cover video uploaded on YouTube. She appeared on NBC's Maury show in 2008. Mm-hmm. And in February 2, 2012 in Korea with the song Heaven, she debuted as a singer oh. and swept the Rookie of the Year award at the end of that year. And Heaven is still heavenly and yeah. is still a still very hot song to this date. And uh, Rolling Stones in the US said she's the K-pop solo artist who has the greatest chance of success in the US. And it also uh, praised her singing ability among Korean female solo artists. She's one of the most talented vocalists in Korea of course, to this day. Mm. And she has the best singing ability compared to senior singers as well. She is a national treasure level vocalist. And whether it's a ballad or dance, she can cover it uh, in either way perfectly. And her songs uh, give you that cool energy and deep emotion with explosive high notes and A-list music. Let's uh, check them out right now. Absolutely. The amazing A. Lee we are talking about today. I still remember when she debuted, actually, because I also debuted in the same year, 2012. Ooh. And I remember Heaven was one of the biggest songs of that year. Yes. It was yes, huge. Yes. Absolutely huge. Right. Some basic um, basic info. So her fandom name is Alien. Uh, there's a saying, Korea is a country with A. Lee, meaning that Korea has A. Lee, who is also great like Mariah Carey, Ariana Grande, uh, Beyonce artists like that and um, before her debut as a singer she appeared as a supporting actor in the Korean drama Dream High 2. I remember Mm. that, that's a long time ago right? Mm -hmm. And uh, as a game maniac, Ailey introduced herself as a game streamer Ye Jin who is a singer as a hobby. (laughs) Uh, Also she said to me fans are like meat to me because she likes meat as well. So it's a, in a, obviously it's a good way in a good way um, mm. to celebrate uh, the 10th anniversary of her debut last year. She held this national tour called One More Step. Mm. Recently, she had a concert in Hong Kong. Ailey on music in Hong Kong and met with global fans. Nice. What kind of games are uh, Ailey playing? I'm so uh, curious, guys. Let us know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. New music information. Single uh, released on September 1st, 2023, and it's a new song released in a year and a half after the English album I'm, in, uh, I'm Loving Amy released in March uh, 2022 and uh, I think we got the album if you, cover, if you keep I talking believe. I'll put it up yes. yeah. uh, and the album cover image looks like it's submerged in the sea for each reason and it has the meaning of consolation to those who are in deep darkness and the light coming through the window expresses someone's warm comfort and we're looking at it right now it's mm. beautiful Beautiful. Stunning. And it's a ballad song with a simple instrument composition and at least simple vocals on it and showing off her explosive vocal and high notes. It's a song that gives courage and comfort to the listeners. And there's a video of her singing live uh, with this song as well and it's a high-pitched song. And so there were so many compliments in the comments like 
god of singing, 노래 신. <웃음> She's always perfect. Uh, and Ailey's music is like riding a roller coaster, like a comfortable one, right? But mm. there's, we all know there's no comfortable roller coaster. Yeah, yeah. <웃음> I can't be on the roller coaster. <웃음> TMI. Yeah. Uh, Saida vocal, <웃음> vocalization. Uh, powerful singing skills and a great vocalist. Everything has to do with the vocal. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Uh, we are talking all about Ailey then today, of mm. course. Mm. Um, Ailey, very, very, um, very special artist, I've got to say. The last 10 years, I think Ailey has made the music industry and career a bit more interesting, I feel, right? Right. Because there's no one like her. Right. I, I, think, I think she's like a living, living legend mm. uh, among all the senior singers. Uh, and she... Uh, she's been through a lot, right? And right. <clears throat> as a singer and as a person, and she's still standing strong, uh, taking her, her, her ground and, you know, keep on singing. And wh- what's really impressive about Ailey, uh, in my opinion, is that she's, as you mentioned before, she's capable of singing both ballad and dance. And that's the big <clears throat> thing about her, which is why... People might compare her to like Beyonce, Mariah Carey. Right. Because those artists are also kind of like that too. Right. It's like she's a diva. And yeah. also many, many artists try, you know, dance uh, and ballad at the same time. But then I can't really say that they excel in those two. But then Ailey is, uh, to me, she has, you know, greatest hits of her, yeah. uh, both in ballad and dance. Uh, yeah. genre music that's the thing right? I, I think definitely that's probably got something to do with the fact that she she grew up in the US right mm-hmm. and so that kind of American pop music influence you can hear on her voice right the groove I, it's, it's a TMI but then when I was on audition program mm. I, and she was on ju- judge and we actually talked about where she's from yeah and actually she grew up right next to where I used to go to high school that's interesting New Jersey in New Jersey right mm-hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah, and and it was it was I don't know for I don't know why I thought of that, but then yes, she's yeah. heavily influenced by this American. You can hear it, right? Culture, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and in her energy too. But yeah. then I think she met up with a great opportunity uh, in two thousand eight in Korea because there was like a it's starting to, uh, there's kind of like a. Uh, it was booming up like uh, yeah. that genre, yeah. And then Ailey kind of like excelled, took it over, it. Yeah. yeah, took over the game. Yeah, and she got the great songs too. Yeah, she she's phenomenal. <clears throat> I mean, the new one as well. I mean, I think uh, we spoke about the fact that the range of it is incredible, but the lyrics also quite amazing as well. You know, mm-hmm. invisible, the back of a lonely day, like a flash, just saying hello. You'll be gone in a minute. When I stop. You're the one that brought me back up with the warmest words. These sorts of lyrics, it's, it's a real heartwarming uh, song that we can all enjoy, I think. So, mm. um, yeah, obviously we've got so much to get through, but I think before we move on, uh, we should go listen to the latest uh, latest song. Mm-hmm. I'm loving the cover, by the way. Mm. And it's called 잡아줄게, I'll Hold You by Ailey. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does she hit that high note? That's crazy. I don't, I don't think she realizes when she sings. I, I'm, I'm sure she, she knows that she's hitting the high note, mm. but I don't think she's realizing that how high she hits. Yeah, right. She must have some amazing stomach muscles. Yeah, to push I, that note she, out. She's very well trained. Like technically perfect, man. Yeah, I yeah. mean, like it's like looking at Ailey singing. It's like a one perfectly talented person mm. uh, who is perfectly trained. Yeah, just doing her thing, and we're just awed by it. Mm. That's the thing. Mm. Trained, but also she adds that level of emotion, which is important too, right? Yes. Um, Sweet as man said, this gives me Whitney Houston vibes. Ah, True. Whitney Houston. Oh True. my goodness me. Absolutely. There she blows as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the high notes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. She's a natural at it, Irina says. Um, explosive when she winds it up. Um, yeah, it's uh, effortless as well. And people writing in. She is um, pretty, pretty amazing. So mm-hmm. uh, we're talking A Lee today, guys. Mm-hmm. Please send in the song by them that you want to hear and also tell us about the reason why we became their fan. 
Yep. Mm. And um, of course, me and Neve were doing a, a video message for one very lucky listener. So uh, do yes. bear that in mind. Um, okay, listeners. Right. Next up, uh, we're going to listen to. Oh, she's got some big hits, man. We're going to listen. Many. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to listen to three of them and uh, have a quick talk about them. You ready? Yes. Jesus. Oh man, this song is amazing. <laughs> Tell us about this one. Oh my god, I remember I was fooled by the intro. I yeah. thought it was going to be like a typical ballad song. <laughs> See? It's called I'll Show You, Puyo Juke. It's the title song of her first mini album, Invitation, uh, released on October uh, 16th, 2012. And with the best composers Kim Do Hoon and Lee Hyun Sing, uh, the lyricist Kang Eun Kyung uh, collaborated together. And it's an outstanding disco rock song with addictive melody, powerful and appealing A Lee's singing skills. And on top of the calm piano melody, the song starts with A Lee's soulful vocals. And A Lee's explosive singing ability and powerful sound meet in the second half to pick. And the mm. song that gave Ailey first place, uh, uh, the first place. Mm. It's about a woman who will make her ex-boyfriend regret a song famous for a boyfriend repellent song. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> uh, I still remember the like the first time I heard this. As soon as it hit the chorus, I was like, "Whoa, what is this? Yes, what is this? This oh. is." Um, so A Lee, it's the kind of song only A Lee can really do, I think. Mm -hmm. And I think mm. it's the uh, also first song that really combined this disco rock with uh, Korean soul in it too. That's the thing, yeah. Mm. It's it's really interesting because it kind of sounds like you can hear it in like one of the Las Vegas shows. Yes. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That kind of showy, kind of over the top power and melodies, but also like you say, that kind of Korean almost ballady type of beautiful melodies at the same time. It's interesting, this song. Right. So interesting, so interesting. Um, even because ly lyrics for songs are important, right? Mm -hmm. Lyrically, I love it. It mm -hmm. starts with Poyodrick. I'll show you. Yeah. This chorus when it comes in. That like gives you goosebumps, doesn't it? She definitely showed us. Exactly, right? So the whole, it's an example of like the lyric, where it goes in the song, the way it hits in the chorus, it's just so, so perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, all that together, I mean, lots of people saying they're getting goosebumps. That's that's what this kind of song does. Still does to me, really. Like, I've been listening to it like a lot. Mm. Then every time I listen to the song, I can hear she, she's something, she's somebody who's different. You know? Exactly, exactly. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> should we listen to a little bit more? This is called Poor Druget, I'll Show You. Guys, moving on to uh, song number two. Uh, We're just gonna take a listen for five more seconds. Five seconds, okay. Five seconds. <laughs> You're my favorite. Oh, okay, okay. This, is, okay, this is called I Will Go To You Like the First Note. The drama Goblin Tokkebi OST released on. Uh, January 7th, 2017, and the theme song of Kim Shin, uh, Gong Yu, and Shin Tak, right? Uh, yeah. Kim Go Un in the play, and it's composed by Loco Berry, and it's a song that shines with Ailey's explosive singing skills, and it's popular as a winter ballad that is recalled in winter, every winter season. But you know what? The, to me, this song is like seasonal. It's not, it's not just for winter, mm. but like we can play this on <laughs> summer. Yeah. And it still makes sense. Mm. It's so sad, but it's so Ailey. And when the song was released, Ailey didn't realize the popularity of this song. After a few years, she felt that it was a song that received a lot of love. And like the title, she heard that a lot of people listen to this song. And she said, I hope it snows on... Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> 
365 days. And it's about Kim Shin and Kim, Kim、uh, Chun Tak's faithful love. And from Kim Shin's point of view, the lyrics are expressed mournfully. That's true. Yeah, man.、Uh, this song obviously will always be、uh, legendary because、um, it was a part of Goblin, which was such a huge drama. It's not the only reason, though, why it's. Because even if it was just a song by itself,、mm. it'd still be amazing, I think.、Mm. Um, this、uh, is quite stunning. It's a bit more delicate in terms of a ballad. Right. Because she doesn't go full blast, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's kind of a little bit, little bit kind of toned down. This song is, to me, it's a poem. <laughs> it's, it's like a poem、um, that fits just for this song because. You know how we repeat the chorus lyrics for, for you know, many songs, right?、Mm. This song,、uh, it's just like every chorus is different. Yeah.、Uh, and and it's, the tone of the lyrics is, how should I say? It's traditional Korean way of saying、yeah. you know, lyrics. But it s also it has a trend in it too. Yeah. Which is. To me, I thought it was impossible, but then I r- realized、oh. that it is possible in this song. You're right. And、um, this is like an、um, anthem, you、yeah. know, like a winter anthem.、Mm. <laughs> There's lots of winter songs, but this song fits perfectly. It's, it's, it's more like、uh, one of the songs that I、uh, wrote for、uh, Chen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really here, it's like kind of sad vibe song、yeah. that plays in spring. Yeah.、Uh, where everyone sings in like a really like a loving、yeah. tone.、Uh, this song by Ailey really gives me one of those like vibe. You're right.、Mm-hmm. And it does remind me of some songs from like the 90s of Korean music,、yes. but also it mixes it well with, with the modern vibes.、Mm-hmm. So, okay, this one's called Chanon Chanon n o i g a Kagata. I will go to you like the first snow. Oh, her groove is so cool,、oh、isn't it? God,、yes. Cool. Song number three. We're on this、two. is called、uh, Don't Teach Me, k a r i s h i s m a We Won't Teach You. <laughs>、uh, it's the title song of her third full length album, Amy, released on October 27, 2021. Ailey, who was immature and、uh, in the process of finding herself through the previous albums like I'm,、uh, I Am and Lovin'.、Uh, this album contains the story of Ailey, who finally found herself and to deliver the message, I love myself. Self, she named the album Amy as, her,、uh, as it's her real name. And Robbie and CEO Hwang Hyun, called K pop Beethoven, <laughs> collaborated together.、Uh, Ailey participated in the lyrics with the song. And it's、uh, a new modern style while pursuing the style of the existing swing genre. It has detailed chord voicing, three dimensional chorus line, and breath session. Uh, you can feel the splendor of a big band, and Ailey's best song to fight a breakup is this song. Yeah, not everybody can pull off big band style music, right?、Mm-hmm. It's a very specific groove and rhythm, and the way you express yourself has to be very over the top, right? And because it's almost like a musical, right? It gives me the、yeah. vibe of、uh, Benny Goodman's、uh, Sing Sing Sing. Yeah, 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 that's、know? all and, vibe. And,、uh, but then it's、uh, reinterpreted、uh, in Ailey's way and with this like, modern approach to、mm. the song. It really, really、uh, also reveals how confident. Yeah. Really is in her, in her genre that she's doing right now. Yeah. I was just thinking about it. Almost the whole song is quite high. The key, there are no like, low notes.、Yeah. It's all playing in this sort of high register.、Mm-hmm. Uh, she really is quite incredible. Again,、mm-hmm. showing phenomenal power, which she's known for.、Uh, love this one. It's called Karachijima Don't Teach Me.
Quite incredible. Three of Ailey's big, big hit songs that we listen to. I'll show you. I'll go to you like the first snow. Uh, don't teach me. I like the fact they're all very different as well, genre-wise. Mm-hmm. Completely mm-hmm. different to each other, mm-hmm. um, which is um, uh, which is very, very cool. I enjoyed that um, very much indeed. Anna says she can sing every genre perfectly. I honestly think she could. Yeah, I honestly uh, can relate. Because she can do R&B. She could do rock easily with her power. Mm-hmm. Uh, rock, pop, ballad, R&B, swing, uh, <laughs> EDM. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And, she could do that. Um, and, and dance. What can she sing, you know? It's, oh, I'm so jealous. It's, it's easier for us, actually, uh, to figure out what can't, what kind of like genre she can't sing. But that too. I can't think of any. Me neither. I can't think of any. It's tough. It's impossible. It's impossible. I'm still thinking. Yeah. Cheers. No. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what? I did have the opportunity. I think she sang at one of the Adidang big concerts we did mm. not too long ago. And I remember I was the MC for that. And I was wa- I was watching because we were on stage together. I was watching mm. her sing live. And I actually, I, I couldn't, I thought it was fake. I couldn't believe it was live. You're on the same stage. Now I'm officially jealous. Yeah, that, that was, it was a good show. It was, it was fun. It was fun. Jealous. I even took, I took out my, <laughs> my in-ear as well. Uh-huh. Because I, I couldn't believe how perfect it was. Mm. She's like, every note is perfect. It's crazy. <sighs> crazy. Um, cool. Right, me me and you, oh, we chose songs, right? From Ailey. I found With this the... very difficult, man. This is one of the hardest. Mm. One of the hardest. I decided not to think uh, when I was choosing one of her songs because <sighs> if I started to think, yeah. I knew I wouldn't be able to I should have done that. choose like one song. So yeah. I was just like, uh, kind of like just like Russian roulette. I was just kind of oh, like good, scrolling yeah. through and yeah. okay on 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 let's say like fifth uh, pick uh, the random songs plays on mm. on on you know random shuffle play. Mm. Uh, I will go with this song. So on the fifth uh, <laughs> uh, shot. Uh, at the at the playlist, uh, this song came out. It's called "You and I," which is perfect. Love this song because this song was released in 2013, July. Right, right, right. It's a while back now. It's ten years it's ago. Ten years ago. Yes. Yeah, and Crazy. it's still actually uh, charting. The song is still charting. What? And, and it's it's like it's still in 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 like like chart on and off like still pe- people still like listen to it like yeah 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 uh, daily streaming is like just like the song that's released uh by i would say somebody like neve yeah uh-huh. <laughs> and you know i think this is like a definition of a, a hit song mm. but at the same time uh this is the first song that i listened to uh by ailey actually uh, cause it, I, cause I remember it was right before me going on an audition program, and I was searching through some like famous K-pop songs, and uh, this was one of my list. And I listened to the song, and first I thought, uh, first moment I was listening to the song, I thought it was like just pop. Mm. But then for some reason, it, like the lyrics was in Korean, and I listened to it, and it's like I uh, immediately I thought she's a diva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's not awkward at all. Like she sings it perfectly. She performed it perfectly. She showed uh, she's just like a, a born to be a diva in Korea. Yeah. And what can I say? She is the whole package. The yeah. whole package. And this is the song that describes that she's she's that whole package. Brilliant. Well, mm. buddy, we're so looking forward to hearing it. Do you want to introduce it then? Yes, sir. This is called You and I by A. the brass man the brass it's Ailey it's genius <laughs> <laughs> that riff is so so cool isn't it yes it's like is it real is it real brass I don't even know if it's not it's very well done mm. it's interesting 
Yeah. I'm going to look it up I'd, after this. I'd love to know. Mm. I'd love to know. Anyways, it uh, sounds incredible. Great song choice. Uh, we haven't got much time, so we'll have to cut these messages short, mate. Yes. And see if we can get through. Uh, all right. So I'm just going to mention all the uh, recommendations that each uh, listener sent us. So Wendy shares uh, Goodbye, My Love. Uh, nobody else. Heaven, love featuring Chen. Uh, uh, yes, and that. Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, Irina also writes in. Sorry, again, I have to cut this down. Uh, so my favorite, um, my favorite songs: Heaven, You and I, Don't Touch Me, I'll Show You, Rainy Day, Teardrop, Mind Your Own Business, But <laughs> Bluebird Is You, Letting Go featuring Amber, Rewrite If I Can, Room Shaker, Singing Got Better, Goodbye My Love, When Your Tears Wet My Eyes, Higher. I think you did all of them. <laughs> all of her songs. Yes. Good. All right, Benny sends in message. Benny chose our favorite song selections. Evening Sky, 저녁 하늘, Rainy Day, uh, Don't Touch Me, 손 대지 마, uh, Goodbye Now, 이제는 안녕, Second Chance, and I Need You, 봄꽃, which uh, is Spring Flowers, I'm Sorry, from 환혼, uh, 첫눈처럼 너에게 가겠다, from 도깨비, Goblin, OST. Thank Good. you, Benny. Yeah, Jenga writes in, my absolute favorite is Home, featuring Yumire. I still remember her interview. View. She was freaking out when Yumira accepted to feature on the song. She's a huge fan. Two absolute queens. Oh, these two together is just legendary, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, legendary. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Marilyn sends in a uh, message. You wrote a long message. Uh, sorry for cutting uh, mm. it short, but thank you so much for your long message. So she chose... To the bride, uh, evening sky, heaven, uh, if you, and home, you and I, mind your own business, letting go, don't touch me, singing got better, I will show you. Mm. Yep, love that, love that. Thank you so much, Marilyn. Leon also writes in, and again, we can't do the whole thing. You mentioned a lot of really good info, but let's have a look at the songs that you like. Mm. Heaven, I will show you, evening sky, higher, don't touch me, um, uh, sweater, Sweater? Yeah, sweater. sweater. Yeah. When we were in love, uh, make up your mind. Spring flowers don't teach me. There we go. For a minute, I thought it might have been sweeter, but it's sweater, I think. Sweeter. Where is sweater. it sweeter? Maybe, I don't know. Anyways. Um, we'll also look that up. Yeah, we'll look that up too. <laughs> Good. Uh, thank you very much, Leon, indeed, for that message as well. We have literally almost uh, run out of time for All today. Right. What have you brought for us? So I, 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 I brought a song called Make Up Your Mind by Ailey. I kind of wanted to go for a song maybe that not many people would know. Mm-hmm. So I thought that would be a key point. I, I, I usually like to find those hidden gems, actually. Actually. Mm. And um, what I really liked about this song is it's um, it's definitely not ballad. It's and it's not the kind of sort of big pop big songs that we talk, spoke about before. It's kind of a little bit track wise hip hoppy with like eight oh eights and stuff, and these really cool uh, percussion sounds which are almost like from like future pop music that nice. sort of sound which I really love actually. It's kind of a cool texture to those sounds and again Ailey again just I mean she does a thing on it as usual Uh, I thought a bit of a unique sort of mixture of of different genres I think for the listeners to enjoy so that's Mm. the song I went for dude next week we're talking about another very talented artist nice All right, we're going to be talking about a singer and a producer Young K Young K Mm. can't wait for that I'm a huge Mm. fan huge fan Uh, Neve have a great week you too Sam the last song we're going to play it's uh, my choice from Ailey it's called To Make Up Your Mind and we'll say Goodbye for now. Bye bye, neighbors. Love you. You take your time. My tears in your time. Take it again. I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. If you're interested in more information about the show Super K-Pop, make sure you go to the official homepage, that is www.adidangradio.com and check out the Super K-Pop page.